I've been writing since I was probably about 18. When I was still at school, I started writing letters to music magazines. And when I started getting them published, that really gave me the impetus to start writing. I really kind of started to get a buzz out of seeing my byline in magazines. I kept getting asked to write for teenagers because I always um, we used to write funny columns for newspapers and magazines in Britain about my life and about the stupid things that happened and about chasing boys and getting off with boys and um, my insecurities about my body and things like that. And I got approached a few times and they thought this would be brilliant for teenagers. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but um, I wrote a few thousand words and that was the way it started. I think a lot of writers do rely on their own family for inspiration and for material. I mean, Diva Without a Cause was very therapeutic to write and I was quite nervous handing it over to my mother to read for the first time because I think that there was a lot of similarities between her and Diane. Diva Without a Cause is about uh, a girl called Shiraz Bain Wood who lives in Essex. She's from a very working class family and because of the way that she dresses, she wears kind of track suits and she's quite, she wears kind of hip hop clothes and she's got a, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier dog and she wears a lot of gold jewellery and because her and her friends hang up, who she hangs around with look like that, they get called chavs which is, um, which is a word that people use to kind of put down kids. So it's about her battle to break free of that and to, um, and to try and rise above it and, and do some amazing things with her life, which she does during the book. The key of Shiraz is that she's just very, very funny and um, she goes too far in what she says and she gets herself into trouble. However, she's got a heart of gold and she's got a, a quick sense of humour. That's why she's so lovable. That's why people want to keep going back and reading book after book. Posh and Prejudice is about Shiraz putting her foot down and saying that she wants to carry on in education. She decides to start trying at school and to harness her brain power and to be something. And, um, you realise that Shiraz is not going to be contained within Good Maze and within that house with the, the dog that eats too many chocolate biscuits and um, the dad that doesn't say anything and you know and her mum who thinks that she knows everything. It's a feel-good story.